I feel infinitely less burdened by the prospect of possibly having to make difficult decisions in the future. I feel like I will, knowing that I, everything that I do will be grounded in something that my mom wants, will make everything easier for me. You can do what I've done, which is I've jotted little things down, I've stuck them in, I've taken things that I thought were important, popped them in as well, um, so that, you know, it, it needn't be obviously just exactly what you write in here. I, as, I find, as I find things, I'm popping them in and they're just there for reference. Go back to them if I need to. Um, so things like the advanced directive in Think Ahead is really, really helpful because you know, at that time, if something sudden or she had a sudden event or things happened with her cancer where she wasn't able to make decisions for herself, for me not to carry stress about thinking what would she want in this case where she can't speak, you know, where she's ill, where people around her, like the medical profession, it's a very powerful place to be in a, in a hospital with all of these people who have views and opinions about what should be done. Um, and to be able to, with confidence, say, no, I know this is what she would want done, say, in terms of, say, an advanced directive or other kinds of wishes that she might have, massively less stressful. I've looked at my mom and I've thought, well, this has been phenomenal for her because she, we were talking about it before. There's no question we were talking about it before, but this gave her some sort of order and structure to be able to talk about things. And it did make her think about things that, and actually me as well, and, and the rest of us to think about things that we hadn't thought about before. There was absolutely no fear within the family about talking about my arrangements. None. We're very open we're able, luckily, to talk to each other. We have no problem with that. Um, I have over on my sideboard, top drawer, dedicated to anything to do with the, me, my illness, my, it's got my medical things, it's got my think ahead form, it's got anything that they need to know is in the top drawer and everybody knows that. All that I want to do for my mom is to be with her in life and through her illness. That's all I want to do. And what I really want to do, I suppose, and I think about it, and people often say it's really unimaginable to think of somebody dying, but I think what makes it difficult is that it is imaginable, and it's something that's really difficult to imagine because you you see a life without them. And I've thought about things like the funeral, and, and for me, like my mom is so full of life and living and laughter and joy and fun that I want her funeral to reflect who she is. And I want to feel that everything that I do in her illness and her dying and her death and what happens after that honours the person that she is. That's all that I want. So for me, this has given me that sense of knowing that I will be actually able to honour her wishes.